folks and welcome to the hillbilly kitchen today we're going to be making a sausage breakfast casserole okay this is a really basic casserole and you can add lots of stuff to it but we're doing the basic casserole today and this is a sausage, egg, and biscuit casserole. And we're going to put a little cheese in it. That's optional. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Now, the sausage that I'm using is um, Wampler's All Natural. And a lot of these sausage companies have started making sausage that doesn't have MSGs in it. Um, I would look for these if I was you because we've talked about MSGs before and they are horrible. But if we buy the products that they make that don't have the MSGs in them, it will encourage them to make more products without MSGs in them. So we'll have more options. So I definitely buy the, the one that doesn't have the MSG in it when I go shopping for sausage and other things like that. And you do need a whole pound of sausage for this. Um, you want to fry it and crumble it up pretty small and drain it. And I set my skillet here so you could kind of see how I drain mine. I literally just prop my skillet on some kind of wedge surface. Um, today, I just rolled a dish towel up so that the skillet was tipped, raked all the sausage to one side, and let the grease drain to the other side. It's really simple and there's not a mess where you drip it all over the kitchen trying to drain it and you don't risk spilling what you're trying to drain. Okay, and you need some biscuits. Now, this is a batch of the butter biscuits, and I'll link that recipe to this video. You can cheat with these, and you can make this with um, a canned or frozen biscuit. And the casserole that I'm going to pull out of the oven in a minute, I actually used those because I wanted to make sure they worked in this recipe before I told you you could do that. Um, I, I didn't want to post the video and say, oh, you can cheat, and it'll be fine. You really can use the frozen biscuits in this. But anytime you do a cheat, you know, it takes a little bit away from what you're making. But sometimes we don't have time. You can also even buy the pre-cooked sausage crumbles if you were in a big hurry. But uh, pre-cooked, you probably want like 12 ounces. A pound, not cooked. This is a whole batch of biscuits. We have eight eggs here. Um, and half cup of milk and a little salt and pepper and I'm just using like I said a cup of shredded cheddar cheese you can use whatever kind of cheese you want uh, you have a couple of options for baking this you can put it right back in the pan that you cooked your sausage in once you get it all mixed up and bake it in that pan if it's a skillet an iron skillet or another oven safe pan if it's not, you can use a casserole dish. Uh, the one I have in the oven, I used a nine by nine square pan. This is a eight by 11 or eight and a half by 11 or something like that. It will work. You can go all the way up to a nine by 13 pan with this. And it's gonna feed, depending on the size of the people, anywhere between six and 10 people. Um, most versions of this say that it'll feed a dozen people. I wouldn't try feeding a dozen of the people I know with it. But anyway, let's get started. Go ahead and dump your salt and your pepper and your eggs and your milk in with your eggs. And we're going to whip them up a little bit. Okay. that's pretty good you don't have to go crazy but I do like to whip it a little bit and we're gonna cut our biscuits up in chunks um, and if you do the frozen or canned biscuits you want to cut them up in chunks just about one inch square or so maybe some of them a little smaller but you don't want them too much bigger than that because you want it to get done and I've seen a lot of versions of this where they'll make the whole casserole and put it all in a dish and put it in the refrigerator at night and then bake it the next day. Uh, I don't like to do that because it gets runny 
overnight and the eggs do strange things to the biscuits and the cheese it, it's just not as good if you totally mix it up the night before and then put it in the refrigerator but you can mix up your biscuit dough and you can have that in the refrigerator and you can even pre-cook your sausage and have that ready to go the next morning so you don't have to do everything the next morning Something you need to keep in mind though is if you pre-cook your sausage or you pre-make the whole thing and put it in the refrigerator, when you cook it the next morning, the sausage is already left over. So any leftover casserole you have, you have to really, really, really handle that carefully because it's already been cooked and reheated once. And you don't want to make anybody sick with the leftover casserole. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add our cheese into our egg and give that just a little bit of a stir, not much. And we're going to add our drained sausage and mix that right up in our egg. There are also um, a lot of versions of this that have gravy in them. <clears throat> and I'm not crazy about that. Well, they don't have gravy in them. You put a lot of extra milk. And then you put a packet of that gravy mix in them. I don't like the gravy mix for starters, but I'm not crazy about that texture. Now, if I bake this in a casserole dish, what I'll usually do is I will take my pan <clears throat> back over to the stove and then I'll make gravy in the pan that I cook the sausage in. And I'll just pour that gravy over top of my casserole once it's cooked or serve it on the side so that the people who want gravy can have gravy and the people who don't, don't have to have it. Okay, if you're not making gravy in this pan and you want to use this pan to cook your casserole in, you got to get rid of this grease. And normally I'd take that and dump it out, but since I'm videoing, I'm just going to wipe it out. You really don't want all that extra grease in your casserole. If you're using a casserole dish, you do want to wipe it with a little bit of oil or spray it with some nonstick spray. Okay, we'll give this a stir. And you can see, well, you could before I stirred it, there was a little grease on top of my eggs that was left in my sausage anyway but you definitely don't want all that grease in it. It would just be too greasy. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your biscuit chunks and in your pan or your casserole dish, you just scatter them around. Make sure they're all separated there. I've had a lot of people um, comment they are looking for recipes for people who live alone or they live alone on a budget and this is a really good one. Um, you could make up one of these casseroles and then cut it up uh, in ser single serving pieces and freeze it and just heat it as you need it. I definitely wouldn't pre-cook my sausage or use the pre-cooked sausage if I was going to do that though because you run into food safety issues when you do that. In fact, the one that I have in the oven, I'm probably going to divide that up, or all of it except for some that I tried, because I definitely want to let y'all know about what kind of difference the homemade biscuits and the frozen biscuits have. But the rest of it I'm going to divide up and freeze, and I'm going to send it home with my mother-in-law, and I'm going to vacuum it. I'm just going to put the single servings down in a vacuum bag and uh, send that home with her so she can heat it up and have a quick breakfast that's a little healthier than something that you would buy frozen in the grocery store. Okay, once you've got your biscuits all spread out in your um, skillet or your casserole dish, you're just going to pour your egg mixture over it. Um, now, you can add a little more cheese to the top of this if you want to. I usually do not. And if you're making this 
or somebody who is older or if you've got little kids that are going to be eating it you do need to watch how much cheese you put in it because melted cooked cheese is a serious choke hazard for people who don't have all their back teeth so kind of keep that in mind um, and don't get too much cheese in stuff like this if you're going to be serving it to little kids who don't have all their teeth yet or maybe elderly people okay now that's all there is to making it it's pretty simple like i said you can make the biscuits ahead of time you can cook the sausage ahead of time and then just mix this up in the morning maybe on a sunday morning and stick it in the oven and let it bake while you're getting ready for church but we're going to put this in a preheated 350 degree oven and it will take about 45 minutes or so to bake maybe a little bit longer when it's done it'll be kind of bubbly in the middle and it will be set good you can stick a knife in it and it should come out clean you want to make sure that it's done in the middle because you don't want whoever gets that middle piece of casserole to have egg running all over their plate that's not very appetizing okay Now you can see this fits in this nine by nine pan really nice and something else to when it's done it will be very firm like this but you can see it's actually started to pull in off the sides of my casserole dish that's what you want I mean it's going to wiggle a little bit because it's got the uh, eggs and the biscuits in them they're not going to get hard or anything and it's going to give a little bit but it shouldn't be mushy and I, I like this version better because it's not runny, it's not watery, um, and you don't, you know, it's just a really nice solid casserole. You do want to let this sit um, for maybe 10 minutes before you cut it so that the biscuits and the egg and everything are nice and solid. And like I said, you can make some gravy in the pan that you cooked your sausage in and pour a little gravy over it. Serve it with some fresh fruit. Or when I was a kid in the winter time, we always got applesauce with breakfast if we were going to get fruit because fresh fruit was rare. And my granny always canned lots of applesauce. So with something like this, we would have a little applesauce on the side and a glass of milk and that would be breakfast. But this is quick it's easy it's something you can make and stick in the oven like i said while you're getting ready for church or while you're getting ready to go out to a pumpkin patch or something like that and it really warms the house up it smells great <laughs> the biscuits and the sausage cooking together is just a wonderful smell in the house but i hope you give this a try uh, maybe share it with somebody who is living alone it does freeze good i'm gonna cut this in about nine pieces like i said it's not gonna serve 12 people and most of the folks I serve breakfast to would eat two of those <laughs> so it's gonna serve six maybe eight people and that's about it if you have more people to serve get out your great big lasagna pan and double the recipe thank you so much for joining us in the hillbilly kitchen if you haven't already please don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave and until next time, remember to put God first.